This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites, and I'm going to do a quick video on resizing images for uh, your website. So, one of the problems with having large image sizes is if you have a lot of images on your website, they can slow down the page load speed time, and that can cause people to abandon the page before uh, they have a chance to buy something. So, then one of the things that's most frustrating, especially on mobile, is when it takes a long time for the page to load. And one of the number one reasons is that image file sizes are too large. So, this is an image that is on the website right now. And if we take a look at it, <clears throat> it looks fine when you look at it on the website. But when you look at the image size in Photoshop, you see that it's actually 16 megabytes, which is a huge file size. So, um, when I'm talking about image size, I'm not necessarily talking about the pixel size. I'm talking about um, the file size, which is right here, the 16.0 megabytes. So if we want to reduce that, we can simply go in Photoshop Elements, and we can go Save for Web, and this will reduce that file for us. And we can look at the before and after, and 16 megabytes right over here on the right-hand side, and then over uh, the preview of the new one is going to be 122 megabytes and that's if we do it in a made medium uh, JPEG. We could even do it in a uh, high quality JPEG and it's still going to be a much smaller file size, 252 kilobytes. But I think medium is usually fine. But let's just put it at high for right now and then let's hit uh, save and then that's going to be a new smaller image size and what we want to do is if we have a lot of pictures you can use a shortcut in, in Photoshop to actually do this much quicker. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the same process and do it in bulk. So I'm going to cancel this and what we can do is I've, I've created a folder that has the uh, images in it which is right here and these are the large images and then I've created another folder that will have the images uh, in the small, that's going to be my destination folder. So I'm going to make this uh, using a feature in uh, in Photoshop Elements. If we go to File and we go to uh, Process Multiple Files, so this just allows us to do the same process on multiple files. So we just choose that source that we want. So here I have my large images, and I click OK, and then uh, you can also include subfolders if you have them in there. <clears throat> and then I want to put a destination folder for that new smaller size image. So you can also rename the files if you want to give them a different name so that you know that you've changed them. And um, what I like to do is add something like you can add a three digit number, uh, you can add an extension to it. So I'm just going to say add a serial number to it and now automatically add a number so that you know that these have been changed. So like my file 001, you'll know that the new, uh, the new file with the number on the end is your new file. So we could resize this if we want or we could just convert it to a lower quant a lower quality. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make it a high quality and we're going to go ahead and just click OK. Okay, so now that whole folder is done. So if we go back to our folders, and we see the large uh, folder is here, and then the small folder is here. So if we go look at some of the large folders, if you mouse over them, you can actually, uh, if you're in on a PC, it will actually give you the file size a lot of times. See how it has the file size is 1.3 megabytes, and then this one right here is uh, 693 megabytes and this one's 708 kilobytes and 1.23 megabytes so now if we go to our small file size we can see that this is now 
35 kilobytes, 248 kilobytes, 483 kilobytes, and this one's only 306 kilobytes. So they've all been reduced. Now if we want to even do a medium quality, we can do that as well, and that would be fine for the web. So that's how you batch process uh, items in Photoshop, and this works really well uh, for any website. I usually do this on Shopify websites, and it helps uh, speed up the page load time significantly. So if you do all the featured images on your home page, which happen to be products, that can be one of the things that really helps speed up the page load time. But you also want to do this on banners and slide banners as well. So if you want to check out more tutorials, click the link in the description of this video and you can find tutorials on um, everything Shopify at pinehurstwebsites.com. Thanks for tuning in.